Okay, so we are looking at uh, the plane upside down, and you can see right here, this is going to be your left stabulator. This plane is inverted. And right there, you can see you have your giant servo. And so here, what I did is I checked um, there are four uh, wood screws that secure the servo to the mount. So check that those are tight. So there's one, two here. Let's see if I can get closer. You can see two here and obviously two on the other side. And then there's two that mount the servo to the L bracket. Check those, make sure those are tight. And then you can see that here's your wire going to the rudder. So to hold the, the uh, stabulator in place, you have a set screw that goes in this location right here. And so for one of my stabulators, that uh, set screw was loose. So make sure I pull that out, put Loctite in there and tighten that. You do not want that to come loose. And then when you pull this out, this allows you to pull the entire stabulator off. One of my stabulators, the actual um, uh, metal um, shaft adapter was actually loose. So it wasn't glued properly or the glue had come loose. So I had to uh, add some more uh, CA in there, thin CA, let it really soak and wick in through and, and secure that. So the third thing I want to show here is you can see where the this clamp right here is what holds your, your vertical stab in place. And so you want to just make sure that the four uh, screws w uh, that hold that to this bulkhead are secure. So one, two, three, four, those are secure. And then you just want to inspect and make sure that that mount is good. Um, there's a key on, on the, the rotation pin here that allows it to mate into a structure that's in, inside here. So that there should be only one way for it to go in. So there's nothing much to see here other than I wanted to show the rudder clumps and all the servo connections that go in the back here. So in here there are bearings so you can see that um, your stabulator rotates right around here and here. And so what I did is I noticed a little dry so I just got some of this BVM dry lube and I'm gonna you know just drop a few dollops in there just to keep that bearing nicely lubricated. So that's it. We're going to repeat that on uh, on the other stabulator here, and then we're going to move on to the vertical stab. Close up uh, this elevator access hatch. I wanted to show one more thing. So you can see there's a, a hole right here, and what that hole is, is an access to allow you to tighten the hex screw that actually secures the rotation pin for the stabulator. So that's kind of nice that you could just stick this in and that's I'm guessing for transportation although I don't know why you'd want to take this off um, because once you insert this you want to trim your aircraft correctly so. so while we're still looking at the elevator I wanted to show uh, one more thing so the rudder has two spots where it gets secured so the first one as I showed earlier was uh, the clamp in the back which is this guy right here but the second one is this spot right here and you can see we have an access hole to get to that from the top so just noting here that when you uh, go to screw your rudder in uh, make sure that you tighten um, the, spot, the clamp in the back and you can access that uh, from the outside of the jet uh, so that's this guy you can access from the side here and then the second one which is this uh, guy right here which can be accessed from the top so that's it for the you know what I want to show from the bottom here regarding the vertical stab that we're gonna go work on next For the vertical stab uh, you can see that you have your spar there and then you have uh, the first mounting point and this gets screwed from the bottom of the jet and then this gets clamped uh, as I showed in the previous video and we're looking at the stabulators from the side here um, and this hole here is for tightening the screw that actually secures the servo down to the arm that controls the stabulator. So right here secures a clamp and then from the bottom of the jet you can get to this. So we're going to stick that back in there. Uh, M2.5 uh, wrench goes through here to tighten that clamp and then we're going to find from our hardware package the screw that goes in here and we're going to stick it in place and we're going to repeat that for the uh, the right side stabilator 
uh, vertical stab, sorry. Um, and then we're done. And uh, don't forget the washers too. So two M4s, two washers secure the rudder from the spot right here. So to install the uh, other screw that holds the rudder on, uh, I put the M4 screw in the washer and then we're just gonna go through here and we're gonna use our Allen key from the bottom to secure it in place. We'll do that on both sides and then we're done.